Hi guys, this is William here from Fly Tech. We received a few complaints about the magnet cable of TLP series falling off too easily. Some of our clients have been having trouble connecting the cable with the devices. And we get that could be very frustrating when you first try to charge the device. So today, this video is going to explain the course and demo a tutorial for charging your TLP devices. Firstly, the magnets are not weak. They are pretty strong magnets. They feel weak because the case is thick of the devices for rock construction and uh, for outdoor uses. The magnets are hidden in the case for better waterproof. It's been tested under 5 meter water pressure for 15 hours. So uh, that's the cause. So today we have the TLP2 SFB series solar power asset tracker with BLE and the first gen regular solar trackers here uh, for the demo. When you receive the devices, it comes with this magnet USB charging cable. So when we take this out, you see it's quite bended. So we need to straighten up the cable first. Otherwise, if you place it on, it feels like as if there's some kind of uh, force making it to go the other way if it's bended. So we need to straighten up. And we want to put the USB on the power first. And we can adjust the rest. Um, it's actually this way. Because it's magnets, they are positive and negative. This way just won't work. It has to be like this way. So now that the cable is straightened out, we need to make sure the, uh, the magnets and the power source is a one straight line from here to there. If you turn it like this, it will never be attached properly. It will just keep going, keep going this side. So we need to turn it to make sure there's a straight line from here to the power. It's the same for the TLP-1 SF, but it has a stronger magnet, so it's easier. It's the same straight line from the magnet to the power. It won't work if you if you put it like this. We'll just keep making it to go the other way. So if you put it like this, a straight line, it will work. If you still find it too hard, you can use our charging dock, which can be precious for us. You place the USB uh, cable in it. And then put the device on it. Which is much easier. But I think without it, you do just fine, like what I did. It's very straightforward. Sometimes it doesn't feel like attaching because it's twisted, maybe like, like this. So it's not staying on. So you need to twist it to make it comfortable staying on. The other way is laying the device down like this and place it on the side and it's the same straight line from the magnet to the power. If it's not staying on, you can twist it a bit. It's the same for the TLP one. If it's turned around, twisted cable, it 
it's not where we use a silage. So we need to use it to give it a comfortable twist. Generally, we can get the devices charged quite easily if we do it in the right way. It's not very pleasing when you do it, and we get that, but you can still get it done. And it's not like you need to charge them every day. Uh, most solar devices only need to be charged once. It's when you just receive the devices. You need to give it a full charge. But when they are out on the field, they will be charged by solar. Thanks for watching this video.